Hi there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK. Welcome to my channel. Um, first time you're passing through, please like, subscribe and share. Um, the reason why I did this channel, this video, um, because, and I called it, if I can do it, you can do it, is because I come across so many people recently who say, you know, I can't get a job, I can't do this, I can't... Um, you know, I'm limited in certain areas, you know, I, I'm restricted by this, you know, I've got kids, young kids, you know, woe is me, I can't do, you know, and everything is a negative. And one thing I value about YouTube is anyone can do it. Now, it's not my full-time job. I'm not that silly enough to give up my full-time job and decide to do YouTube, knowing that any time the rug can be full, pulled from under any of our feet. I mean, a lot of YouTubes are, YouTubers are so content, complacent. They've got money coming in every month. And you never know when the system is going to change. It's already changing at the moment because it's saying, you know, you've got to, you're going to be demonetized if you put um, your videos are not for kids not necessarily demonetized but it's restricted to certain advertisers so that's already a start of the rug being pulled from underneath your feet and people being affected by it if you think about that young guy the guy who cheated on gaming he was living I don't know how old he was I think he was 18 19 living in an 11 million mansion 11 million dollars mansion that's what he's living in and they found that he was cheating he's been banned for life um on doing on gaming videos and so you don't know what's going to happen so why you can you find a topic that you're passionate about share it with people people are so eager to learn i'm not the greatest person i'm not the greatest role model but, you know, I try, the reason why I do these videos is because I'm interested in, you know, sharing injustices. And if something, if I don't feel that something is unfair, I'll share it. I might not do it in an eloquent, eloquent or coherent or professional way, but I share my concerns. And so that's, that, that might not be your bag. You might be interested in something else. Like somebody said, oh, they're interested in making furniture. I, I, and, I, and I, my arm is broken. But I said, okay, you're interested in making furniture. Your arm is broken. Don't let that stop you. Tell people about your dreams. Maybe they're interested in making furniture. Maybe they'll give you some ideas. Then, she, then, um, then he said, so how long is it going to take for me to start making money? I mean, when I was doing this thing, I wasn't even thinking about money. You can't go onto YouTube thinking about money. You've got to go on YouTube thinking about your passion, what you want to do for other people. How can other people um, benefit from what you're sharing with them? But if you're going to go onto YouTube thinking about money... It's not the right idea because, number one, you need a thousand subscribers. And I remember the time when I had about three or four and I was so grateful. I thought, bloody hell, three or four people listening to me. Three or four people. And I'm sure they were. My, I'm sure it was my relatives. But my point is, is that somebody was listening and somebody was subscribing. And, you know, as as the numbers increase, you think, wow, you know, maybe what I'm saying does make sense. Maybe some people are just curious. Maybe, like, I've seen so many negative videos. Maybe somebody just wants to throw darts at me. It doesn't really matter. If you're going to subscribe just to throw darts, that's up to you, if you haven't got anything better to do. But my point is, is that anybody can do something. And you shouldn't wait until you're desperate. You've got people on universal credit who are scraping the barrel, you know. But there's this guy called Mark My Words. He's, I, I'm, I, 
No, I don't know if he's on universal credit, but he's always talking about universal credit. But my point is, is that those people are struggling. They can either talk about their story, talk about something else, share about something that they've seen or, you know, something that they need, that you need to be, have a consistent interest. It can't be a one off, but you need to be passionate about something, have the confidence to stand before people, know that you're going to be criticised, know that people are going to pull you down, but still go at it anyway, because your um, your goal or what motivates you is to share your, what you are passionate about. And not everybody's going to have the same opinion. Not everybody's going to Th um, think that you're talking any sense. Some people will say, oh, you're talking crap. You, you, you don't know this. You don't know that. Nobody knows everything. And that's one thing about YouTube. You can't be afraid to make mistakes. You can't, as long as it's not going to ca cause libel or have you sued for defamation of character, you can't make mistakes like that. But with life mistakes, life experience mistakes, not being able to present properly, not not um, speaking coherently, not being articulate. You know, I'm always fumbling. I'm all, somebody said to me, oh, I can't remember stuff. I can't, um, I keep forgetting my words. And I thought to myself, I remember when I started, I was called Black Sh Dark Shades. And I put on Dark Shades because I was so paranoid about making a mistake. I was trying to look at... Um, the text, you know, through my dark shades, hoping that nobody would know I was reading it, but I could actually see it through the dark shades that I was looking down my, my, my the way my head was positioned, but it gave me the confidence to start. Wearing dark glasses gave me the confidence to start because I realized that it forced me to try and remember and retain information. So now I have this mantra every day I say, I have the ability to recall relevant information and articulate it in an effective and productive, effective, I've forgotten what it is now, productive way, something along those lines. Because if I keep saying that to myself, it, you know, I still fumble. I still say, you know, you know, you know, too many times. And when I look at it back, I say, oh, are you still saying, you know? But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'll grow and I'll, you know, I'll get better at what I'm doing. And, you know, sometimes I look at these videos and I said, oh, they're so flashy. How do they do this? How do they do that? How do they kind of cut um, videos into two? How do they have those pictures going through it to make it look so exciting? My videos are so boring. And, you know, I do chastise myself. I do criticise myself. But I have to keep going on regardless. And every day I learn something new and everything. And, you know, because of the topics I'm doing and, you know, I'm not restricted because they say specialize, specialize, specialize. And sometimes I think, you know, I'm all over the place. I talk about so many different topics. But the one thing they have in common is the fact that they're there to help people or to advise or to mo not, not necessarily motivate, but to kind of... um let people know what's going on. Raise awareness then. Let me put it that way. A lot of my stuff is just to raise awareness. So when you're raising awareness, you can raise awareness about anything. So you don't have to specialise. You don't have to follow the rules. Well, not the rules of YouTube or the rules of law, but the rules within, you know, what other people tell you. You don't have to be confined so um, in your linguistic program, I don't know a lot about it, but it does tell you to model success. And all you've got to do is look for YouTubers who you resonate with and, you know, see what their style is like, see what they're talking about, what makes you like them, what makes you listen to them. And, you know, with me, like I said, you know, I'm doing it now. They say make hay while the sun shines. You know, maybe a year down the line, we won't have YouTube. We won't be able to do this. Or there might be something that prevents us from being monetized or, you know, or being um, saying what we want to say. There might be a point where we're all restricted. So if you're struggling now, you don't wait until you're desperate to start building up your audience. You do it now.
Get a little laptop if you haven't got one. Even some people do it on their phones. It, you just have to click video live and you're off and it goes out. And that's your start. And some people love to see vulnerability. Some people love to see people trying and learning and are the underdog. You know, you get little kids even YouTubing. I mean, I know YouTubes don't have the same hang-ups as adults do, but they're out there doing their thing. So, yeah, don't be afraid. I did write a few notes. Uh, modeling is great, but learning. What are you interested in? Kids, carpet, yeah. So, don't, you know, like I said, we all have talents. We can all make money somehow you can't make <coughs> like me i you know, i probably make about 50 or 100 pound a month you know i don't make much but what i'm the, the way i look at it is that when i you know when i do need it or what you know if i did want a regular income if i wanted to retire or something and i want to know that i've got passive income coming in then at least I've done the homework now. I'm not waiting until down the line and I think, oh, you know, I haven't got anything coming in. Even if it's 50 quid, 50 quid can pay my um, shopping bill. You know what I mean? I'm not looking for millions. You know, I don't want to be a millionaire. That might seem stupid to say, but those people ain't happy. And then it, with that kind of money comes a lot of responsibility. So think small to start off with, even though people tell you to think big. To me, I think small and I'm slow and steady. They say slow and steady wins the race. Some people say if you have a big dream, it's best to go out. Whatever your style is, whatever way of working works for you, but don't let it stop you. And that's all I'm saying. Bye-bye.